So the approval of anti-PD-1 antibodies is highly exciting uh, in the field of melanoma. Again, putting it in historical perspective where before 2011, the median life expectancy was on the order of nine to 12 months, and we now have six or seven drugs now approved or about to combinations to be approved. Anti-PD-1 antibodies are exciting because the response rate on the order of 40% in melanoma um, and the potential for long-term survival. Um, the question now becomes what line of therapy is most appropriate. Uh, the FDA labeled indications now is in second line therapy after ipilimumab uh, and or BRAF inhibitor if BRAF mutant. Uh, there's a lot of debate in the field as whether or not that's the appropriate indication. Uh, there are other clinical trials that are ongoing that are likely to modify that indication. Uh, there are several phase three trials comparing anti-PD-1 antibodies directly to ipilimumab, and I think all of us believe that very quickly anti-PD-1 antibodies will transition to frontline therapy. The question will become, is that enough, or will combinations then of anti-CTLA-4 and anti-PD-1 be even better? Uh, we have to caveat that there appears to be more toxicity, but there are a number of other molecules in development as well that could be combined with PD-1. So at the current time, the standard of care is ipilimumab followed by anti-PD-1 whether it be pembrolizumab or nivolumab. Uh, that's l unlikely to be the case a year from now, and it's very uh, unknown what the case will be two years from now, and hopefully it'll be something even better.